Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this week's forecast reading to give you a little bit of insight and guidance as to what perhaps you need to focus on in the upcoming week, let go of, or if you need to make any decisions, then hopefully the guidance within this will point you in the right direction. So I'm just going to shuffle the cards. One card has fallen out already. Okay, to see what the universe would like us to know to help us with the week ahead. Okay, there's card two. I shall have to pick them up in a second. Okay, so what would the universe like us to know the week ahead? Okay, so it's looking a very abundant week. Bear with me a second. Okay, very abundant week ahead for all of us. Now, regardless of where you are. So the first card that came out is very much about bringing new money in. So whether that's through changing your job, through bringing in new finance, so your own business venture, turning a hobby into a business, there's definitely a lot of ideas and inspiration around you to help you to bring more money into your life. So what ideas and inspirations do you have to bring more money forwards to you would you like to be earning more money I mean let's face it who wouldn't like to have more money coming in to their lives on a regular basis so this is very much about starting something new that is in alignment with who you are what your sole purpose is what excites you what you're passionate about what inspires you um, as well Okay, so what is it that you would like to do that would bring in more money and be in alignment with exactly what it is that you want? Also, when the Ace of Pentacles comes up, or the Ace of Coins in this case, it's very much about the manifestation of your goals as well. So moving into a more positive state of mind. So, you know, thinking more positive thoughts, thinking um, and using positive um, behaviors and thoughts to get you to where it is that you want to be. If you're using the law of attraction, then there's a lot of positivity around that. Okay, or around bringing more money into your life. So now is the time to figure out exactly what it is that you want and how you're going to make it work, how you're going to bring it into your reality and start setting some plans around it. Start setting some action plans to help you to move forwards. Now, this coming week, let me think, what's the date? Mm, we are approaching um, a full moon. I believe it's on the 19th of February. So there's no better time to really start looking at your goals and your ideas and letting go of all the things that are holding you back from achieving those goals and desires. Okay, so this is something for you to think about as well. So this is very representative of new beginnings, fresh energy, ideas, and inspiration, and a lot of new energy coming in for you. So I would definitely say do some decluttering, do some um, work that is going to help to get rid of those the old energy that's around you. So perhaps saging your home or... Um, you know, decluttering, getting rid of all, the, all that old energy so that you can make space for new energy, new opportunity, new possibility to come in around you. Okay, so the second card for today was the Nine of Cups. Now, for me, the Nine of Cups is very much about how we treat ourselves. If we treat ourselves abundantly, then others will treat us abundantly. If we treat ourselves with love and respect, then others will treat us with love and respect as well. So, you know, our, our inner needs to relate to our exterior. So if we're not giving ourselves that luxury and abundance that we want in our lives, okay, so if you're trying to manifest more happiness, more abundance, more money, whatever it may be, and you're not treating yourself abundantly, you're not treating yourself with respect, you're not loving yourself, then you're going to have a really hard time in manifesting those things. 
So it's the way that you treat yourself is really, really important. I would also suggest putting 10% of your wages away if you can, you know, even if it's only 2%. Put an amount of money that you earn away just for yourself that you spend on only yourself. Okay, this is important. This is your way of treating yourself abundantly and luxuriously. Look for other ways that you can get some self-care and self-love into your daily routine as well. Okay, so whether that's just having a nice long hot relaxing bath whether it's some time to read some self-development books um, whether it's a walk out in nature they're all things that you do to love yourself to um to build that respect for yourself and treat yourself luxuriously okay so really important to start putting some routines in place to help you to feel luxurious and abundant and that way you will start to be able to attract more of that to yourself okay now also with the nine of cups there's a bit of a tendency to daydream so as with the um ace of coins it's time to turn those daydreams into reality so what steps do you need to take to be able to make that happen i'm putting some self-love, self-care, self-respect, self-worth, you know, all of those kind of things into place, then you are going to be able to manifest the things that you want. The third card for this week is the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands for me is obviously someone that has that fiery energy, that is passionate, that knows exactly what it is that they want. They're in control of their lives. Okay, they're action takers, they are goal orientated. Okay, they can be very visionary. So, if there are things that you want to achieve in your life that you want to bring in more money, more luxury, more abundance, more respect around you, then you're going to need some of the traits of the king of wands okay to set yourself some goals to vision out your life how you want it to be okay to start paying attention to the things that you've already achieved to build your self-confidence okay now there's definitely something here that is going to present itself to you because with the king of wands and the ace of coins this is definitely energy for a new start that is going to bring you something to feel abundant for. So I would definitely suggest setting yourself some goals, tasks, um, and ideas as well, because that's really, really important to help you to move things forward, to get to where it is that you truly want to be. Okay, so what is it that you want to achieve this week let's start with one week at a time what do you want to achieve this week what goals have you set yourself up for this week okay because you know the king of wands is very goal orientated okay he's a visionary he likes to set goals he likes to achieve them so set your goals for this week if you're a member of my group then we do this every monday if you'd like to join the group let me know and um, i will put the link in the comments and you can join in set your goals every week as well what are you going to do to look after yourself and treat yourself more luxuriously and abundantly today Okay, I would love to know how these cards resonate with you and what you're going to put into place this week to help you gain success in all areas of your life. Hi, Kathy, lovely to have you with me. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Dolores. Dolores says, hello, lovely. Good to see you. I always seem to miss you live. Oh, sorry, Dolores. I do come on a little bit all over the place at times. I try to stick to one o'clock um, my time which is 12 o'clock UK time um, but sometimes I have to do the school run and all of those kind of things so um, and of course with clients as well so I do try to do the weekly reading at one o'clock and I do try to come on Fridays at one o'clock um, as well but this week it will definitely be 12 o'clock which is 11 o'clock UK time to pull some cards um, and give you a little bit of private guidance as well so do let me know how these cards resonate with you today and what you'll be putting in place to help you to move forwards thank you for watching and I look forward to catching up with you all again soon ciao for now